so I was able to get everything out of there yesterday and I'm going to show you a couple clips now and after those two short clips I'm going to walk over to the area and show you where this this hoop house is going to go hold on we'll see what happened yesterday hey folks Kevin here well uh, I got home just before well I didn't get before I rode into the big storm going through the nearby town lots of flooding going on on the way home getting the last load there and uh, then uh, we had some snow after that a couple inches of snow and yesterday we started having a warm-up above freezing and so that snow is melted so I'm back on site and I've been loading up the trailer with a lot of the uh, the baseboards from around the perimeter of the structure so here we are looks a little bit different hopefully this shows up on screen a lot of the anchoring posts I don't know how well this is showing have been concreted in so I'll put those on top of everything and I'm going to try and salvage as much of this weed mat as possible these weeds certainly are an issue there's holes in it and there's uh, raspberry bushes that have come up through it but hopefully I'll be able to use this and put some other weed mat on top of it so so far so good we're making headway well I'm set as you can see even the weed mats up all the posts are out and the trailer's loaded the truck is full <laughs> so that's it for today I got her all set take care guys hey folks Kevin here well, it's March 1st, and yesterday I went ahead and finished up getting the rest of the materials from the high tunnel, the poly tunnel, greenhouse area uh, from Paul's Nursery. And that worked out just fine. I know it's a little windy out here. I missed the rain yesterday, and uh, we're going to get another big uh, cell coming through in a little while here. So I thought I'd shoot a quick little video showing the trailer back there and we'll go back and take a look I'm actually going to turn the camera around hold on one second so here's the trailer these are the 21 foot long uh, poles used to uh, roll up the sides on the greenhouse so uh, for ventilation or the high tunnel poly tunnel these are some extra Excuse me, I'm hoping this wind isn't too bad. These are some extra uh, stands that were used for rolling tables inside of uh, one of Paul's greenhouses. Underneath is all the, uh, the boards from, uh, from around the perimeter, the baseboards as well. And uh, that's about it. Hey guys, I'm back. Got the trailer unloaded down and back with all, all the materials are out. And uh, I just wanted to go over a couple of things with you uh, regarding where the, the hoop house, poly tunnel, high tunnel is going to be going. Ultimately, it's going to be going right over here behind this fence. Now, actually it's a good time because the sun is, is out right now and you can see where the shadow line is here. This is March 1st. Uh, 2017 and uh, the shadow line during the winter solstice was right about where I'm standing now so I just pan around some so there's I mean work area poop and right where that uh, the wood chip pile is is where the uh, well, just this side of it, basically, where the high tunnel will end up going. And if you look at the fence there, you'll see that I've been gradually building it up over time, the, the wood chips and the uh, woody material. So in a sense, this whole area is a huge uh, woody bed or a culture bed. Let's go over here. pond is open over there. I'm not sure if you can appreciate that. You can see uh, I had previously buried down below this level 
a lot of logs down below. So we got a couple foot there, and it'll come up to this level. I don't know if that's showing. And this is the six foot high fence right here. See, it's just about thigh level for me right now. Let me see if I can show this. to get everything turned around and so right back here is where the uh, 96 foot uh, poly tunnel high tunnel some people would call it a greenhouse is going to go. so that's where it's going to go and ultimately i'd like to have two of them side by side that's that's why we got three different structures that we've got is so that we can extend our growing season and actually be able to harvest food during the winter months. That doesn't mean that it's going to be growing during the winter months uh, here. Uh, it'll stop growing in the fall when the temperatures drop and then we'll just be able to harvest it during the winter months. Uh, this year we fed, fed a lot of uh, greens from Paul's nursery, that stuff that he had left over from uh, his sales, and the chickens and ducks loved it and uh, we used the, we extended our growing season in our garden and i know that this would work much better be more cost effective feeding the uh the chickens and the and the ducks throughout the winter months off of the food in the system so it's going to take me some time to get all the fill in here that i'm going to need so that these structures aren't going up right away unfortunately so that's where we're at so far take care folks and have a great day